What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today what I got for you guys here is some tips on Apex Legends. These are some tips that will help you throughout the game. Definitely some very important ones here that I want you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's jump into it, okay? I know a lot of people have been playing a ton of Apex Legends, myself included, and in a lot of the hours that I've logged in, these are some of the more useful tips that I've found have helped me out in my battle to becoming the champion squad. So tip number one is about gliding into battle. So I've seen a lot of people who struggle a bit with when exactly to jump out and what the fastest way to get to your destination may be. And while it's obvious when the area you wanna to go to is right below you, sometimes it can be difficult to time your landing. As the jump master, the best way to perform a jump is to first dive aiming slightly towards the ground until you notice your speed on the left hand side hit 145. As soon as you hit that speed or close to it, level yourself up by aiming upwards and you'll see that your speed will start to decrease. And once it hits 135, then you can aim back down until you reach 145 speed and repeat this process until you are relatively close to your destination. Then you can just start diving straight down towards the exact place that you want to land this method helps best if you don't really like jumping right off the bat or if the hot zone may be in a bit of a parallel position from the jump ship now tip number two may seem like a bit of an obvious one but holster your weapons you'll be surprised how often you're gonna forget to do this by holding down the button to switch weapons you'll put all your guns away this increases your movement speed exponentially, and even if you're the furthest from the next circle, you can usually outrun the incoming ring just by holstering your weapons. This can also help if you've distanced yourself from your team, whether that's because you were looting or whatever, and it can even help you outrun an opponent if you need to disengage. As uses of a tip this may seem, trust me when I say this is one of the most important aspects of the game. Our next tip has to do with select fire. With most assault rifles in the game, you'll see the option to switch the fire rate from the weapon from either a full auto slash burst to single shots. Depending on the weapon and of course your attachments, this can be really helpful if you're in those long range battles or if you spot an enemy that's a bit of a distance away from you. For some PC players, this can almost be the preferred method of shooting because weapons like the Hemlock, a three burst rifle, can be lethal in the right hands if you switch its fire rate to a single fire weapon. Even some quick fingered console players can basically turn this gun into an automatic weapon and you can dish out some serious damage with a weapon like the Hemlock if you're shooting it basically like it's an automatic weapon. Tip number four has to do with a specific legend's passive ability. Every legend on the roster has a passive ability. This is a small character trait that can help you in battles, but also be a support item for that specific legend. The Gibraltar has a small shield when he's aiming down the sights. The Mirage sends out a decoy and cloaks immediately when he's downed. And then there's the Pathfinder. You'll notice sometimes when you're looking at the map that there are these weird little beacons, these weird symbols located in random areas around the map. If you have a Pathfinder on your team and you head towards these beacons, you will come to find that this specific Legend's passive ability can actually utilize these beacons and show your team where the following circle will be. This will be highlighted on your map in green. Although it can be circumstantial, this ability can really help towards the later circles to help you and your team get situated and ready for not just the upcoming round, but the round that will follow. Now the last tip that we got for this video here is about team composition. This is probably the most important aspect of Apex Legends, considering the Legends are the foundation of the game. Each Legend comes equipped with a variety of abilities that can be extremely helpful, but it's important to make sure that your team is well-rounded and having at least one support slash defensive legend, Bloodhound included. I consider him a support character, although he's specifically listed as a recon character. Legends like Gibraltar or Caustic are important to keep your enemies at bay or force them to engage on a fight that you have full control in. And of course, Lifeline is one of the most important characters to have on your team as she has the ability to revive teammates incredibly quick and even puts up a defensive shield during her revive that enemies will have a tough time breaking. If you're more of an aggressive team that wants to be fast and be on full attack, legends like Wraith and Bangalore are instrumental. They are the fastest legends in the game, especially Bangalore, as her passive ability increases her movement speed when she is shot at. 
Mix and match these legends with your friends and try to find a consistent team composition that helps you become the champion squad. And that's it. That's all the tips that we got here for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you did find this video helpful and informative, a positive rating would be appreciated. And then of course you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more Apex Legends coverage and more gaming coverage overall. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later. champions.